Praise the Lord, everybody, and everybody praise the Lord. As you can see on the screen, uh, the new theme for the under the new administration for uh, the Sunday School Association, the International Sunday School Association is Sunday School and Family. And as you can see on the screen on the flyer, their theme is One Lord, One People Pursuing the Vision. And on the right hand, top right, you see the new International Sunday School Superintendent, Elder Charles Bright Jr. As you can see also on the screen, these are going to be the facilitators for the month of September. As you can see, last week we had Elder Melvin Thorne who blessed us. This week we're going to be having Elder Larry Thorne. Next week we'll be having Deacon Samuel Ellis. And then to end off the month, we'll be having Sister Stephanie Valentine. So as you can see on the screen, the new theme is One Lord, One People Pursuing the Vision. As you can see, I'm, I'm on the screen, Elder Jaya Russell. For those of you that don't know me, I'm pretty sure many of you do. And as you can see, our guest, hallelujah, this evening is Elder Thorne all the way from Columbia, South Carolina. But before I hand the broadcast over to him, I want to give honor to whom honor is due. First, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life, to our presiding uh, apostle, Apostle James Main to the entire board of apostles, the entire board of bishops, the entire board of presbyters, to our advisor to the youth, Bishop Reginald Davis, to our international uh, Congress president, Deacon Marquise Rose, to our international Sunday School Association uh, uh, superintendent, Elder Charles Bright Jr. And we wanna give honor to the entire International Sunday <coughs> School Association staff. And again, we greet you all in that wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over the broadcast into the hands of Elder Larry Thorne. Elder Thorne, the broadcast is all yours. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. As was said by Elder Russell, we greet you in that matchless name. Lord Jesus Christ, who's the author and the finisher of all our faith, and the Savior of our soul. We honor the Lord today for this session. Truly, I thank God for just the humble opportunity to just to share with the people of God. No goodness of my own, but God is just good. I mean, he knows how to, you know, has to touch us and move us in certain ways in Jesus' name. We want to first give honor to the Spirit of Christ, the of my life, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I want to honor my region eight apostle, Apostle Walter Lee Jackson. In Jesus' name, great man of God, my diocesan bishop, Bishop David A. Smith, praise our God, and my pastor, Ella Bruce Macri Moore. And oh, yes, before I forget, my lovely girlfriend, amen, praise our God, want to honor her, give honor to her in Jesus' name, very special person. My girlfriend there, she's been staying with me for the last 38 years, amen, keeping me company, keeping me in the right way, in Jesus' name. Also, want to honor her. Amen. The Sunday school said, what was he? he said, wait a minute, Elder Thorne. Wait a minute, Elder Thorne. You said you got like, a girlfriend staying with you for 38 years? Yeah, she's been, she been, she been living with me now for 38 years. And after I gave her that ring, praise the name of God. See that do. Amen. She's she, she coming up in you. Amen. Been a blessing to me ever since. And thank God for her. In Jesus' precious name. Praise the Lord. We all honor my good friend and brother, Elder Charles Bright. International Superintendent and his lovely wife Cheryl. Amen. Thank God. The man of God tonight is at the helm. I also want to give a shout out to our previous international president, my good friend, Sister Dolores Griffin. I pray that her blessings continue to flow in Jesus' name. Amen. And with that, amen. We want to go before the Lord in prayer. Ha she tells and honor him. Amen. For he is the keeper of the soul. Amen. He's the chief partner. He's the one in charge of all of this that we see in Jesus' precious name. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, whom we love death, we thank God, Lord God, for your sacrifice, amen, that you did on Calvary. Lord God, that we might have a right to the tree of life, amen. We're here at this present time, honoring you, giving you praise and giving you thanks. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for realizing that we have a hope now. Lord God, because the Holy Ghost done come like you promised. And we say thank you, Jesus, amen, for putting things in order in Jesus' name. We ask you to bless this great country, Lord God, and the leadership thereof, the president of this cabinet. Realize that righteousness exalts a nation, sin is reproachable in the people. 
praying for the sick and the shedding, they would be blessed tonight, uplifted and encouraged. Praying, Lord, those that have addiction problems, those that the devil just been bothered. We pray that he'll be rebuked tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. The captive, Lord God, will be set free by the eternal word of God. Let us say amen and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. As we said, we greet you in that name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The family is our subject tonight. Amen. It's taking a pounding. Amen. By society. Amen. By, 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 by that old enemy who's got society stirred up with all kind of laws. The devil himself. Amen. Taking shots. Amen. Throwing their negative uh, forces at the people of God. And whatever that God's got implemented in the world that the people of God stand for, the enemy, you can rest assured, amen, he's going to up his mind. He's going to try to disrupt and discredit whatever God is doing. But thanks be to God who Jesus Christ, who gives us the victory and causes us to triumph. Amen. We're going to be sharing with you tonight, amen, just a little, a, word, a little short word from God, amen, a workshop entitled The Unbreakable Foundation. Praise the name of God. Unbreakable foundation. Well, throw on what you're talking about. Well, foundation, in the natural sense, praise our God, got a little death for him. It's the lowest load-bearing part of a building, typically below ground and ground level. And may I also say, amen, that there ain't no structure going to stand. This has got a sure foundation. From a spiritual standpoint, amen, we want to lay our foundation. God will have us to do it like this. Amen. Fasting praying, and dedication. Praise our God. That's the Christian life in Jesus' name. God require us to live unto him that he might be glorified in the earth. Let man know, amen, that God got a way, amen. Praise our God that we got to obey in order to be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On Unbreakable Foundation, we're talking about Sunday school. Sunday school is that place where you can just come and be blessed, amen, and be introduced to God. We're going to follow the workshop, amen. Jesus said in 2 Matthew 7 and 24, this is what Jesus said. Therefore, whosoever said, hear my sayings, praise our God, hear these sayings of mine and do with them. I will liken him unto a wise man. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the God. Because you know the word of God is powerful. Amen. It's enlightening. Which built his house upon a rock. He's talking about the individuals now. 25th, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blow, and beat upon their house. This is the one built on the rock. And it fell not. Why? Because it was built, it was built on the solid rock of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The word of God, the living word of God. But it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of man, it's just Jesus talking now, and doeth them not, shall be lacking until the foolish man. Wow. Foolish man, okay. I'm, th I'm thinking he's going to have some problems. Which built his house upon the sand. My God. That's a shakable foundation. Amen. That's a movable foundation. That's a foundation that has no substance. Amen. Not safe. My man, not secure. And the rain, guess what happened? The rain did descended upon it. Amen. And the floods came and the winds blew and it beat upon that house and it fell and great. Praise that the word said, what the fall? This is Jesus talking. Amen. We're talking about the Sunday school tonight. A, a, a strong Sunday school department <laughs> makes a strong church. Amen. Why? Because it's the education of the department of the church. Amen. Where men and women, boys and girls come, learn about the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is God? You can't see him. Who is him? You come to learn about. Him. Amen. Amen. The all-knowing God. He's omnipresent everywhere. Omnipotent, all powerful. Amen. Omnipotent. He got all power in his hand. And I'm this everywhere. Amen. He can do it all. Amen. He can do it all. Amen. He can do it all. He can do it all. Knows everything. Praise the name of God. Our God, as the, as the scripture has said, is an awesome God. So Sunday school department is set up. Amen. So any structure that has been built must have a solid foundation on it for it to be successful productive, and have longevity. It's got to have longevity. When you got a solid foundation, was this a family? Sararusha. Hallelujah. Business? Praise our God. Nation? <laughs> Whatever you're trying to build up and you want to prosper and go forward, 
got to be on a solid foundation. That's for the natural. And if you're doing anything for Christ, we know that only what we do for him is going to stand. So we build, amen, amen. The Sunday school, what? Upon the solid rock of Jesus. Sunday school is good ground. Good place to start. Sunday school, good place to start. It's the first service, amen. It helps wake you up, get you ready, amen, for the miracles to come in the name of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> and guess what? Sunday school is not just good ground. Praise the name of God. It's the answer to the generation gap. <laughs> yes, it is. It's all that storm. We got problems. We can't get we get them young folks to come to church. Hey, man, they don't want to come now. So and so and so. This and that. This is what the some of the you know the, the, the senior uh, saints are saying. The boomers. Yeah? No, no, no. We got to just love them like Jesus said. Yeah, praise the Lord. Sunday school is a good ground. Sunday school is a place where everyone is invited. Praise the Lord. Why is it? Why is it an answer elephant to the generation crowd? Because, hey amen, you go to Sunday school, you find grandmama there, you done invite grandmama, praise the Lord. You got Uncle Joe there, praise the Lord, hey amen. Look over there to your left on the choir, you got auntie, hey amen, in Jesus' name. Hey amen, got the grandchildren sitting up front, your children sitting over there, everybody sitting in Sunday school, hey amen. <laughs> praise the name of God. <laughs> that's, your, that, that, that's, your, that's your bridge right there. Sunday school is your bridge. Praise our God. So you, you want to ask God for ideas and strategies, how to build in that area, in Jesus' name. Praise our God, you got to be creative. Amen. Because they're not, and I, got here, I work at a school. They say, now you just can't lecture when you teach. Just lecture. Praise the name of God. Your teaching, amen, and your presentation got to be animated. No folks in the bar. Man and ass early in the morning, people trying to wake up. Name of the Lord Jesus. So you want to greet them with friendliness, with kindness, and with love. Amen. Because the scripture said Jesus is love. Praise the Lord. Amen. Got another scripture. St. Luke 8, 14. And that which fell among thorns, talking about the word, are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked with the cares and the riches and the pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. Such is the way of the man that builds his house on the sand. Praise the name of God. Hey Amen. You're going to have problems in and without. First of all, the structure is not stable. Praise the God. So you can't stand that. And then, and in the world we live in now, you've got to be able to stand. Hey Amen. And the word of God comes to help us stand. But the Bible says in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by him. And that anything was made, that was made. So we got the word of God that we're building on in the Sunday school. Some folks may have never even picked up a Bible, but Sunday school is that place that you can come. Amen. Praise our God with your inquisitiveness. Praise our God and ask questions. What's going on? Okay, back to the word. St. Luke 8 and 15. But that on the good ground are they which are, which in an honest and a good heart have heard the word, keep it and bring forth, hallelujah, fruit. With patience. God will have a man, man, woman, like Jesus said, come on unto me. All you that are heavy laden and burdened, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke. The yoke is the word of God. My God. And the word of God comes with fire and it comes with demonstration. Amen. So God wants to, 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 to for one of us, to, as the instructors that are within the Sunday school setup, amen, when those souls that come in, Amen. That are broken. Praise our God. That are bruised. Wounded. Praise our God. That are wounded. Praise God. He wants them to find a refuge within our place. With a refuge. Amen. Within the house of the Lord. And one of the beginning places of refuge is that Sunday school. Amen. With the power of God. Word of God is being taught. Power of God is on display. Sunday school is the foundation of the congressional church. And family. It's the fire starter. It's the kindling. It is the place where the living water, the word of God, begins to flow. It's the educational part of the church that everyone can take an active. Hey, that's right. Active party. Amen. Sunday school, you know. 
It's the fire start. If you done come out the cold, you done come in there, like I was saying, and you just sitting there. And if you if some of y'all ain't know what kindling is, those of us who used to make fire, and man, them pop better stoves, praise our God in the fireplaces. Hey, man, sometimes that oak wood, you could get the oak wood to fire by itself. Sometimes you had no casting, praise the name of God. But if you could just find you some of that kidney, that kidney is that type of wood. Hey, man, praise our God. If you just put it in the, in, the, in that pot belly stove or in that fireplace and light it, up comes the flame. Praise our God. It, it, it catches fire right then. Everything in there going to burn. Everything in that pot belly stove going to burn. Praise the name of God. We thank God how God gives you wisdom how to do things in the name of the Lord Jesus. So Sunday school is that fire starter. Praise our God. It's the one that gets you juiced up. But they for the for the big and better things that's coming doing service. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Sunday school is that place, praise our God, where the word of God begins to flow. Like we said, like we mentioned earlier, some people have never, praise our God, picked up a Bible. Saints of God, we have people that have never picked up a Bible. And those are the folks we want to reach. We want to reach that unchurch. Not just the church, but the unchurch. And when we have all that, and, and, and we realize now, praise the name of God, that uh, we're dealing with the pandemic, amen, but how many know that God is innovating? <laughs> he created the whole world, praise God, when it wasn't nothing about see the spirit of God moved upon the face of the wall. My God, because the earth was not foaming, boy, in the name of Jesus. But God spoke, and then when you begin to speak, things begin to come forth in the name of the Lord Jesus. My God, dry land appeared. Amen. And the birds of the air appear. The animals begin to come in the ocean. Oh, God. Plants and stuff begin to form. Praise the name of God. That was in the beginning when it wasn't nothing. Don't you know God can handle us and take us in the midst of the pandemic? He said, I'm the Lord that God. And he to thee, and I'll make a way out of no way. Praise the Lord. And David picked it up in Psalm 24 and said, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of the world and they that dwell in. So now, that, now, so now that we're in the midst of the pandemic, God has given the men and women of God innovational skills. Amen. Because the word of God is going to continue to flow. He said, my word is going out, and it's eternal motion, and it shall accomplish that. Amen. Which I sent it to do. My God, we can give a report today. God still saved. My God, from the utmost, to, listen, from the gutmost to the utmost. God's still doing his thing. In Jesus' name. Praise our God. So we thank God how God had introduced uh, the innovation to the churches in Jesus' name. And I can say like some of y'all, we, we doing the conference call during the week, the Sunday school and our Bible studies. Amen. And, and since we're we doing the Sunday schools during the week, amen, and, and, and we get more input, we get more folks coming out to our to our uh, conference calls. Praise our God. I said, I'm, I'm quite sure some of y'all got the same testament, testimony in Jesus' name. What are we doing? We're reaching the lost. Reaching those that are broken. Those that need to be encouraged. That's our assignment as instructors of God, teachers of God. He said he got the five full ministry in place for the perfecting of the church. The apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers. Amen. He got them in place. Amen. The, the prophets. He got them in place. Why? Because he wants the saints. And that scripture said for the perfecting of the saints, God wants us to get all that he would have us, amen, to, to, to get from him as an individual. Because he says, to much is given. Much is to be received from that person. So God wants us to be exposed to all of his goodness. So we thank God even for the Zoom. Amen. That God has given man knowledge to implement. Now we can see each other even though we can't, we can't just embrace each other at the times like we would like to and just get together. Amen. But God has made a way. He's promised to make the crooked places. My God, in the midst of the pandemic, he's still God. Still the strong one. He's the El Shaddai. He's the Almighty God. Amen. He I can do anything I want to do. The whole world is mine. Praise the name of God. Amen. He wants men to know him. Amen. He wants men to know him. Like Paul said, I want to know him in the fellowship of the suffering and the power of the resurrection. Amen. Being conformable into his way. My God. God wants man. God got a yearning for man. Mankind. When I say man, we're talking about mankind to come to him. And learn. He said, come on and learn of me. Cause my yoke is easy. God in my building is back. So we see God has implemented the Zoom and now we're able that the Sunday school is continuing and we thank God. And we are praying for Sunday school and congregations everywhere that the word of God will be in demonstration and power 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise our God, because God's word is down. Once you come in contact with God, you, you cease being an ordinary person. Put that in it. Praise the name of God. Praise the name of God. So we're talking about the Sunday school and we're going forward. What we have is belief and faith in God leads to stronger churches. Amen. Stronger families. Amen. Stronger communities. Stronger nation. So what, what you're saying, Ellen, the more exposure and the more endeavors to get into the word of God, Brings about changes. It births things. My God. We've had him get saved in the, in, in, in the Sunday school. Praise the name of God. Amen. <laughs> present the, you, you, you present God to folks. Amen. Folks will never be the same. Praise the name of God. And the importance of Sunday school, we can't, we can't put a, 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 a barrier on the importance of it. It's just that very important part of the church in Jesus' name. And just wanted to be a little transparent with you, give a little history, amen, by myself, amen, praise the name of God, amen. I, I, I grew up, as you say, in Sunday school, praise our God, we, uh, amen, we, we mama and had daddy, and grandmama stayed with us, praise the name of God, grandmama stayed with us, my mama, your mama was short the person in the house, your mama went on, wasn't nothing to play with, she was in, nothing to play with, your mama and daddy didn't go to church. But but grandmama went to church. Grandmama was a devout church goer. Amen. We went to her church. It's, you know, traditional, your traditional Baptist church. But uh, let me tell you something. Them folk were strict up in there. They, they weren't playing. You know, back in the day, back then, you know, we were we feared God. <laughs> we feared mom and daddy. <laughs> we feared grandmama. <laughs> we feared the church building. Feared the church. Feared the preacher. <laughs> we just we just feared. Young men, very impressionable in Jesus' name. And we thank God. And we need them to bring them days back in Jesus' name. But grandma, my God, my, like I said, my mom and dad didn't go to church. My God, but if you, woke, if you found yourself waking up on a Sunday morning, Sunday morning, your eye woke and touched your television, touched yourself, and you was, as they say, a lot. My God, you were getting up out that bed going to church. Your mama fell with a song. Your mama drug at the church. Well, let me tell you something. She wasn't playing. We went to church. Me and my brother said, we went to church every Sunday. My God. Now, what made it kind of easy, you know, that we had the neighborhood school right there. So my, my, back then, you didn't know everybody, most, most, most folks went to church. So, you know, um, praise God. You know, my friends would be in Sunday school. So, well, I'm glad to see my friends. You know. <laughs> praise the Lord. It wasn't that bad. At least I got to see them. But we went. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, in this Sunday school, and I talk about this throughout our, our, our workshop, it had a profound effect on me because, hallelujah, hallelujah. That was my first introduction to God, to Jesus, to Mary. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, you know, I was a little boy, I was a little body. Now I'm over, I'm over 60 now, but I'm not a little boy there. You, know, so, so, so. you had to be there. So you be there. So, 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 so we learned a little songs. Praise our God. And one of the songs I learned, I was a little kid. Hey, she us, was Jesus loves me, this I know. Bye. My God. Learning that song as a little child is still delivering me right now. As I face the challenges as a man, as a manager on the job, family man, just dealing with this, the challenges of life. That song that I learned in the Jesus loved me. That you got to know it yourself, saints. You got to know that, this, that Jesus gave his life on the cross that we might have a right to the tree of life. He wasn't praying. The Bible says he that, that knew no sin was made sin for us. The name of God. My God. So growing up in the church, kind of got away. Praise our God. Kind of got away from the church. And I got in late teens. Following me. I grew up in the hood. So got an influence there. My homies. Mama wouldn't let me play, you know, too many folk. I had to play in the yard a lot of time by myself. Like I said, no folks in my house. Strict. I'm playing. I'm playing. But you didn't go too far from the house. Couldn't, couldn't be seen. They'd be in the yard out there. 
his name. But we thank God that when they say about that training them up, amen, praise our God, and that word will be there. In Sunday school, you get to plant seeds in folk. And when you plant seeds, seed grow. Amen. Amen. And you can plant seeds of kindness, forgiveness, and love. You can plant seeds of generosity in the name of God. And on the other hand, you can plant seeds of rootlessness, stinginess, you know, all them things that, 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 that makes God frown upon. Amen. Because there's a seed going to be, the devil is coming, amen, and God is, is speaking through you through the Holy Spirit and through the word, wherever you may be, he's speaking to you because he's got a conscience too. Amen. <laughs> Whatever you let take root in your spirit, in your soul, they've got to come up in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why we say Sunday school is an unbreakable foundation. You get up in there, you start learning, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, even more, more so. You find you're the only one saying, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. opens doors for you in Jesus' name and, and, and gets his promotions and all that stuff. Might sound kind of whack, but praise our God, you, you practice that. And those stay open. Well, God gonna send God gonna send employers your way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise our God. So we proceeded forth to that and got out there and as they say and, and mess around with this and mess around with that. You know, we thought it was the norm. Amen. But God came and rescued me. Amen. And it brought me, amen, in this holy and sanctified. Amen. Which I'm glad to say I'm proud of look at. I'm glad about the sanctified way. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise our God. God has has been a blessing, but those little scriptures that I learned, and that word, that, that that song, that Jesus loved this, I know I remember that one right now today, and it has helped me so much. So that's why you want to try, try to encourage your family members, encourage the neighborhood, and continue to share the word of God and be witnesses. Amen. As Jesus said, you shall be witnesses unto me. And the companions, the deal, the most parts. Amen. Amen. And this gospel of the kingdom. She'll be preached into all the world for a witness into all nations. Then shall it. So we've been assigned, amen, whatever capacity to work in the kingdom of God. Because why? Because Sunday school is part of the kingdom building process that God has established in Jesus' name. Okay, praise the Lord. Sunday school is also family time. They can worship together. Let me tell you about that gap that they talk about. They got a generation. There ain't no generation gap. And then come, come check. Come check. You see older folks working with young folks. You see older ushers, younger ushers, and older choir members, young choir members. The answer, the answer is the word of God. That's what the answer. The answer is that. God has provided all things for us, what we need in this earth. In the name of He said, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I show you great and mighty things. And in the time in the midst of the pandemic, God wants to flex himself and show mankind I can still do it all. I got all power. He that believes in me as the scripture has said, out of his bed, he's our God shall flow. We must believe God still saved in Jesus' name. He's saving in the Sunday school. Amen. Teachers should be studied up. Let me say this now. Teachers should be studied up and prayed up and prepared. Whoever you got doing your Sunday schools, that person needs to have a, a love for God, a passion for the word passion for people, and, and they have been observed over a period of time. You can just put an individual there and put an individual over people, and because everybody don't know how to have mercy. You know what I'm saying? People just, some folk is hard. And, you know, the people that's coming into the church, they already broken. They already need our help. And we know this because some of us, some like Paul said, such were some of us. Amen. We needed to show the crowd. My God. And sometimes we've had them come in Sunday school before the pandemic and just sit back there in the back of the church and just sit in Sunday school. We, cause they, we know they was tired. The spirits were just tired. And then they would listen and sit through the Sunday school. Ha, see, Tyler, I wish. Just get up and just leave. Praise our God. God had that time of kind of effect to draw. I mean, the Holy Ghost has that drawing power. And when we're operating and in the, in the love of God, like Jesus said, by this all men should know. Y'all belong to me because you're operating in this love. He said, I'll draw all men under me. Praise our God if I be lifted up like that in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we put strong emphasis on Sunday school tonight and the family. How God can bless the It makes us strong. Yes, it does. 
us. Yes, sir. Them re reading them scriptures and reading about things you didn't know was there that God is concerned about. Because God is, is uh, concerned about man. He's concerned about the body, soul, and spirit of man in all aspects. We ain't just Jesus and hollering and running and going to heaven. God will teach you how to function down in him and be a productive individual in the earth, a blessed individual. Because the scripture said he delights in the prosperity of his servants in the name of the Lord Jesus. And you can come to the come to God just like I come there. Come there with broke, amen, living in a shotgun house, praise our God, amen, and looking for some kind of way out. Praise our God, but along came Jesus. Along came the word of God. My God, and it's been all right ever since. In the name of God, will build you up. Praise the name of God. He a teacher. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teaches thee how to profit. In the way that you're supposed to, thou shalt go. And this is what God is saying. God is in the blessing business, saints. Amen. Ain't no place like church. That's what my late pastor, Elder Freddie Mac, used to say. Ain't no late, ain't no place like church. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. So make sure your teachers, amen, they may have that passion for God and you monitor them. Amen. Praise our God. Amen. Because people, this is a love walk. We don't get there in our ways and get and, and, and when you find yourself getting easy to be upset, okay, if you're easy to get get upset, amen. Then you just do a little faster, a little prayer, amen. Step back, amen, because you can't be you can't function and deal and manage folks whether you're on the job in the natural or in the church. You easy to get upset and, and quick to make a response verbally in Jesus' name. You no, know, God want God want to God wants us to to simplify the gentle side of Him. Hallelujah. When the people come, amen, because we want them to come. Oh, God, that's why I'll be, that's why I'll be there. And that's why Jesus came. Praise our God. Proverbs 22 and 6 said, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from him. Why Sunday school? Kingdom builder. Teach him that in Sunday school. That's right. Kingdom builder. And that part, but to train it up, like I, like I referred before earlier, <laughs> went through that. That song. Jesus loved me, this I know. That's the one been keeping me all these years. <laughs> when, when the trials of life rise up against you, the enemy come in like a flood. The Bible says the spirit of God will lift up a standard. It give you the strength. It give you words of wisdom what to say. It'll help you hold your peace. Amen. It'll help you just to pray for your enemy. And it goes there, and you'll find yourself blessing them that curse you and praying for them that despite the use of you and doing good to all that don't, don't lie. And you'll find yourself walking in victory, amen, shouting the victory daily, amen, and, 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 they, and them, amen, seem to be going through, amen, not sure, walking in uncertainty in Jesus' name. The word of God amen, establish this, uh, will establish your way. David said unto the Lord, Lord, establish my going. Say, yes, Lord, establish my going for thy goodness sake. That's what the word of God will do in Jesus' name. Kingdom building. God wants us to introduce them to him through the word and make them aware that what they see with their little eyes, talking about the little kids and innocent heart, it didn't just happen. The, the, the children, please our God, they have um, questions. They have questions. Where, where did the sun come from? Where did all the dogs come from? Where did the animals come from? And we can relate to them a scripture that we've heard. How God called the animals under Adam and Adam named the animal that it was. Name all of them. He's like, that's the starting point. So we're enlightening them and, and we're enlightening them to the things of God because their hearts are animals, innocent and impressionable. And some of us are those, you know, who ain't certain ain't sure about certain things. Yeah, God made every cell in the body. Praise the God, God. And let me tell you something. From the start with man, when the, but the dust of the ground. Praise the name of God. That's dust that's blowing on the ground. Amen. Amen. God looked down and said, okay, I'd use the dust and make, make man. And breathed him, and man became a living being. Praise the just that's God just spoke <laughs> the body form, a little bit organ that he needed function. And let me tell you something as a little sad. Like, oh, God, whatever well, organ that's in you not functioning. <laughs> remember all the remember that our God is a healer. Amen. Of all matter of sickness and disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Matthew uh the 19th chapter, verse 13. Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. 14 verse. But Jesus said, Suffer the little children, forbid them not to come unto me.
for such is the kingdom of heaven. Praise the name of God. <laughs> even, G, even back then, there was some biasness toward the young folks. There should be no, I can't be biased toward the one, young folks. I got children myself. Praise the name of God. <laughs> and I'm 100% I'm in their corner. Amen. Wrong or right. Amen. We're going to pray to thing change. That ain't right. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My God. And whatever they might be doing or whatever that ain't right that the church know about, you need to walk up in that church with your head up. Praise our God, because you know you've done what you could. You brought them to the Sunday school. They just went on there. Well, you know what you did. God seen what your works. He said, your lady ain't going to go unrewarded. Praise God, you come up in that church and you give God the praise. Say, Lord, you know when they was in my house, I brought them to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm going to do something to God. I mean, we got to remember, they got minds of their own. So don't be walking around in a depressed state saying, oh, I'm maturing, oh, I'm maturing. They grown, pray for them. I mean, you continue on your assignment with God will have you to do. You're living for God. Amen. We'll eventually draw them in Jesus' name. The benefits of Sunday school. Sunday school prepares you for life. It enriches the soul. It can lead to salvation. You can become an exemplary, productive adult later on in life by the skills and discipline that were learned there in Sunday school. Having a growing knowledge of God is an advantage. It opens your heart up to him to receive more of his boundless, everlasting Love. We talk about the benefits of God. David said in Psalm 103 and verse 4, he said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all who benefits, who healeth all thy diseases and crowns thee with goodness. And <laughs> let me tell you something. We want what, what the Lord does by He introducing to you to His Word through the Sunday schools, the missionary meetings, whatever. You learn that praising God gives you an advantage in this life. Praise the name of God. It gives you the advantage. It gives you the advantage. Why does it give you advantage? Let, let me read what Psalm 103 says in Jesus' name. Psalm 103. Amen. Psalm, David was saying, David said it like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, <coughs> and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. That's what the word of God does. That's why it's so important that we push the Sunday school and get structure unto them. Get structure in the Sunday school, saints. Get structure in it. Let us pray. Let us not give up on it. It then went through some, some hits and then took some hits, but we thank God for the innovation that God has sent. And look how some of us who weren't as good, like myself on computer, on computers now. We zoom in. We go to the pew. One time we ain't care nothing for it. Ain't care nothing back. <laughs> but we thank God how God got a way of moving us toward the direction he wants to go in. Because even though in the job is mandatory if you're in management, you know how to do certain things. Praise our God. And I thank God for my, <laughs> like we see this generation cap. Let me just interject this in. My youngest son, Curtis, my youngest daughter, Diana, if it wasn't for them too, helping me with my job situation sometimes, some of the stuff I got to do, I probably wouldn't have another job. Because I need that. It's mandatory. I don't know how to do some of these things. Thank God, amen, that God has been merciful to me. In Jesus' name, answer them. Now I'm able to learn some things to help me take care of my family. That's why we say Sunday school bridges the generation gap. Yeah. Ah, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Tell them to come. Tell them to come. Tell them to come. Amen. Praise our God. And, and it should be taught in, a, in, a, in, a, in an enthusiastic way. We should be going to teach, teach exciting. Amen. Praise our God. Amen. And the kid, learn how to catch the attention of the people. You don't just lecture and say, well, you know, the Lord says so and so and so. And the Lord says so and so and so and so and so. And the Lord says, I mean, get into it. Amen. God is a good God. The song says, yes, he is. Okay. Walk me up this morning. My God, Mr. Todd. I mean, that's what, that's what, that's what word of God does. Word of God is, is, is life to those that find it and health all their flesh. That's why David said he giveth all our iniquities and healeth all of our disease in Jesus' precious name. We thank God for knowing that the life, amen, of the Sunday school is there for the production and productivity of man to help man, to help the family, to help the community. Stronger families, amen, you got stronger fuses as a result because those folks in the Sunday school are going back on these jobs and they're living whole sacrifice on these folks who ain't never seen nobody do that. I have a service like that and you know when sometimes when they come to our services, they shop, but you know, we sometimes we, you know, we get we get happy up in there. 
<laughs> we get happy. <laughs> and if we had to be the same, the right song at the funeral, we get the shouting up in there. That really gives them a shock. I had some come back and tell me. I said, man, y'all, y'all prayed, y'all did all that at the funeral. Yeah, man, the Holy Ghost in the house. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Now I got a little short story I want to share with you. Just got a little short story. Praise the name of God. We're going to talk about the benefit of training them children up when they're young. When they're young, when they're young. Like I said, I'm talking, I'm talking about myself. Because I was one of those in that line back then. I told you how that song and some of the things that I heard in sin. She told the bullshit about sin. Hallelujah. Help me in life. Praise the name of God. That thing they said you train them up and want to part. You plant the seeds of the word in the enemy. It's that. <laughs> it's that. It's that. It's that. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to come from the book of Daniel. Amen. Praise our God. Praise our God. In the book of Daniel, we're going to talk about some young men. Praise the name of God. That had a little trouble. Had a little hardship. Come their way. Wasn't their fault. The nation was, was, was wicked. Jehoiakim was, was disrespecting God. Amen. And leading the people away from God. Leading Judah away from God. Amen. So God said, okay, so it's going to be like that. So I done raised y'all up and done bless you. Made you a rich nation. Made you one of the leading nations. In the nations, in the surrounding area, God said, well, since Jehoiakim want to live like that, amen, he said, now I'm going to send my servant. He called Nebuchadnezzar his servant. Now, man, you now, <laughs> when we say the earth is the Lord and the fullness of all, the world did it dwell in, amen, God used who he want to bless you and I. And he can use who he want to chasten you and I. God do what he want. Amen. In Jesus' name, none can stay his hand. I said, what does thou? In Jesus' name. So we're going to pick it up right here. In 605 B.C., Nebuchadnezzar, the capital of Nebuchadnezzar, came into Jerusalem. Amen, man. And to punish the people, amen, for their disobedience. Amen. And then during that raid, that first raid, he took uh, Daniel and the he three Hebrew boys, as we know, back with him, amen, to, amen, to Babylon. Amen. Praise our God. He, he tore down the walls. Praise our God. And they had a habit, the foreign nations, especially Babylon, had a, they had this, where they would come into a nation, they wouldn't take, they wouldn't just ravage and just destroy everything. They, 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 put, they let them know that we in domination now. We running everything around here. So he would take the best and the brightest of the young men and take them back to Babylon to, so, you know, they would enhance his nation in Jesus' name. And he left the poor there, but he would give them, a, you know, a allegiance, amen, like a vassal state. You understand? He still take connected. They were never on their own. Praise our God. So they took Jer took uh, Daniel and his three friends back there. They left Jeremiah in the street. Je Jeremiah still prophesied. But Jeremiah was trying to tell me, y'all don't get right. Nebuchadnezzar come. My God, when he come, he bringing a mighty force with him. Praise our God. They wouldn't listen to Nebuchadnezzar. They would listen to Jeremiah. So here's so, uh, five, 602, 605 BC. They come Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, 597. Amen. God done give him a little time to repent. They ain't got it right yet. 597. God told Nebuchadnezzar, go back down there again. So Jerusalem ain't doing right. Judah don't want this. Praise our God. He came up in there, crushed a little bit more of the city. That particular time, he took Ezekiel back. Praise our God. Took 10,000 more of the Jews back to Babylon. Praise our God. Ravaged the city, tore it up. Amen. They were living in poverty. My God, the mind that Jeremiah still sitting in the street. Praise God. Crying as he marched back. My God, going 500 mile trip, going back to Babylon. Praise our God. God paused him and gave him a little time to repent again. Praise our God. In 586 B.C., came in there for the last time. Praise our God. He came in that level of sin. Hey, Amen. He, oh, God. He, 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 he did just what God wanted him to do. Punch. So he took the, uh, the three Hebrew boys and then Daniel back. Here he is in Babylon. Strange place now. Mind you now. We're going to walk with this a little bit. Let me work with it. Daniel 1 and 3. And king, the king spake unto Asmanath, the master of the eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed of the princes. Fourth, fourth verse of that first chapter. Children whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding and science. And as such as had the ability of them to stand in the king's palace, whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chandi. Praise our God now. What? God used Nebuchadnezzar to punish his people, but that was all a part of God's plan. Because Jeremiah had not told him, so you ain't going to do right. So God told me to let y'all know. You're going down there and you're going to be down there 70 years. When you're down there 70 years, he said, go ahead and build your house. They might go ahead and get married and have your turn. He may build your vineyards. Amen. And plant, plant vineyards. 
<laughs> be hush with you. Praise God, because you going you ain't coming out from down there. Amen. Till you realize that I am the Lord that God. And then you're gonna be down there seven years. So they didn't really listen to Jeremiah, so they're down there now. So the king had this this, this mindset. He was gonna take the, the, the uh the children of Israel, the three Hebrew boys and Daniel, amen, and convert them. But now, but now, now but now we see where we're gonna see where what they learned when they were young was still in them. They were about seven between 17 and 20 at the particular time. They were young fellows, teenagers, when they went to Babylon. Amen. Amen. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar had them in chaining for three years. Amen. She's around 2021, 20, somebody around that area there, in Jesus' name. Amen. But we see now, we're going to see where training them up in the way they should go, praise the name of God, really means they ain't going to, the, the way what we put in them ain't going to depart from them. That's what makes Sunday school so important. That's what makes a man. Amen. Hey, that family, that man, that single parent, that single uh, lady. Amen. Bring the bring the children, bring them to church. Bring your grandmama and just the, the, the little grandchildren. Come, bring them to church. Bring them to church. Bring them on. Bring them. Let them hear what good things God want to do for them. Amen. Because God got a plan and it's mighty sweet. Amen. So now they first started off. He wanted to come. He wanted to change. Amen. That culture. He wanted to wash away. The king wanted their heart devotion. He wanted to wipe away any influence they had concerning their heritage, which is Jewish here, which is holy, and spiritual commitment. He wanted to get rid of all of that and indoctrinate them with the pagan worship. Amen. So he first wanted to get them to try to eat, but then they had purpose in his heart. So now we ain't eating what they got together. Them fellas got back, they got together. Daniel, Meshach, and all of them. So look at So now, so now we know these individuals are pagan. You know, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's why it's good to have good friends that are in sound doctrine, too. So when you're having these little challenges and situations that come along in your life, you don't get an interview to you might go and do it. They ain't going to know and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, shit out of both you. So I'm not going to give you some sound doctrine because your friend's supposed to tell you the truth. In Jesus' name. They said, look at him, fella. He said, nah, <laughs> we ain't eating this food. They said, everybody said, nah, we ain't eating this food. Because right. you know we offering that stuff to idols. And praise the name of God. And you know what we've been talking. Praise our God. Because even back then, the Jews had a certain diet that would allow themselves to their own, entertain their own diet. They wouldn't eat none of that stuff off of Nebuchadnezzar's head because they knew it wouldn't. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise our God. Amen. So Nebuchadnezzar wanted to, wanted to try to wash out and wash away all that they had done learn. He wanted to change their diet. She taught both. She changed their names because the name wasn't Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the beginning. It was Ezra, his eye, and one of them other names. He's not real with these Jewish names. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But uh, he wanted to wash away all that God. And that's what the devil wants to do to you and I, saints. He wants to he wants to plant little negative thoughts in our head by church, by God, by people, by saints, by family members, so we can get you away from folk, so you can get out there on your own, so he can bombard you with all kind of foolishness and draw you out there to himself. And when he draw you out there and get you away from the church, his main goal is to try to destroy. Because the enemy come but to steal, the uh, kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I can't let you might have life and might have it more abundant. That's why we want to get folks introduced to God at an early age. And Sunday school is a good place to start in the name of the Lord Jesus. So here we see these boys because of what they were taught when they was young, when they was born. And they brought up, because God told Moses to tell them to, to pass it down to the children. The, the thing, what they saw. How God, amen, this is, made the rest. He stand up, praise our God, and brought a strong deliverance to the children of Israel. Tell them about what Joshua did. How I made him, man, Jordan, back up, man, from him. And look, I'm going to tell you something, saints. God going to make some of those situations that y'all going through. He going to make it back up and get up off you. And he going to bring you out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless up the Lord in Jesus' name. Because God said, I got all power and I can do it all in Jesus' name. He wanted to indoctrinate them. But Paul picked it up in Romans 12 and 1. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies, which is what they did, living sacrifice, amen, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, because that's what it wants to do. That's what, that's what the, uh, Nebuchadnezzar wanted to do with the three Hebrew boys. He wanted to conform. He wanted them to, to just forget about and try to wash away all, amen, their Jewish heritage. But how many know, once the Holy Ghost get inside you and the word of God get planted in there, amen, it's that it's there. Amen, it ain't going to do nothing but just bloom. It ain't going to do nothing but bring forth, bring forth blessings, bring forth seeds, 
All that, all that the spirit of God and the word of God going to do is, is going to increase your boldness, and increase your knowledge in the word, increase your hunger for the word. You find yourself forgiving folks that who you thought couldn't that you've been struggling with. Because some of us struggle with this forgiveness, you know. But the Holy Ghost is there, Amen. To help you and walk you through it and say, well, you know, you got to take baby steps first in the name of the Lord Jesus. Take them baby steps and do what you got to do in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now he he said we're not gonna eat. He said he told him he told Aspenas. He said look here. He said give us ten days. We're gonna eat what we post what we need to eat from our Jewish heritage. Praise our God, and we're going to see whether or not we're going to pass this little test you got in Jesus' name. All right, so 10 days went by. This is what was said in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is what was said by the two Hebrew boys. And at the end of 10 days, this is the 15th verse of Daniel 1. At the end of, 15, at the end of 10 days, their countenance appeared fatter, fatter in flesh than all the church with the, each, the portion of the king's name. We ain't got to take down set aside our holy heritage to get and accomplish nothing out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is a holy and a sanctified. And we can't do like they do. We can't go everywhere they go. Amen. We can't entertain ourselves with some of the things. That, you understand? He said, come out from among you and be you separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive. Praise our God. The God the man the holy living in Jesus' name. And this style of life, amen, is a, is a blessed life. Amen. It'll keep you clean. It'll keep you healthy in Jesus' name. Mind, body, and spirit in Jesus' name. So the Hebrew boys and Daniel, amen, amen, they came out on top in Jesus' in that phase. Okay, he didn't stop right now. Amen. Amen. He stopped right now. Hey, Daniel 1 and 19. And the king communed with them and among them all, and there was none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Ezra. Therefore stood they before the king. Verse 20. And in all matter of wisdom, this is verse, this is Daniel 1 and verse 19. And in all matter of wisdom and understanding that the king, that the king inquired of them, he found them 10 times better than all the musicians and the stars that were in all of them. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God will bless you and get you there, saints. That's what we encourage you to do tonight. Because of their obedience to him, God gave them special gifts. Wisdom and quick understanding, learning skills and good health in Jesus' name. Praise the name of God. What you're saying, Ella? You need to come. We're making our appeal. We're making our appeal. Grandmama, granddaddy, mama, daddy, auntie, get them together and tell them to come on. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's go to Sunday school. Hey, let's do something different. Let's don't sit around here and just play games. Let's go to Sunday school. Let's see what they're talking about. And saints of God, let's make let's, let's make uh, Sunday school interesting and active. When they come, hey man, don't let, let them little children do something. You know, sometimes sometimes they want to sit there with mama and grandma. They don't want to go with the other little kids, but that's all right. You know, now keep bringing them in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> they were faced with another situation where the devil got in them again. Where they wouldn't bow down to the statue what Nebuchadnezzar built. Some told on them. Just, they, they still live in Babylon, but they're blessed because being that they stood up for God, God blessed them and he touched Nebuchadnezzar. They they uh, gave uh, Daniel a high position in the in the in the foreign land and he brought his he brought his homeboys up. He brought the homeboys up. And all and all of them sitting down there in Babylon in charge. God can bless you wherever you're at, saints. Wherever you're at, dishwashing, mowing lawns, please I got washing clothes. She taught her emotion. Watch, do what you, what's never you do for Christ, gonna stand. What's never your hands trying to do, do it with that might. Who's that sick nine and, amen, nine and 10. This is the end result of Daniel them standing. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, the God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. He will deliver us out of their hands in Jesus' precious name. So we see that they took a stand. They took a stand. And God helped them and helped them take that stand. Praise our God. And you know what Nebuchadnezzar said? <laughs> you, know, you know what he said? Nebuchadnezzar believed that they had support like that. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king, this is what he said in Daniel 3, 
and verse 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto the, the counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Then answered, they said unto the king, O king, yes, O king, true. He answered and said, But lo, I see four men walking loose in the midst of the fire. Hey, and they have no hurt in the fire <laughs> in any form. And the fourth is lacking to the Son of God. What are we saying tonight through this workshop? Your exposure to the Word of God, whether it be Sunday school or big search, is very profound. Praise the name of God. Amen. Look at the results. How God will step in, having a knowledge of God. The Peter said, grow in the knowledge of God and in the grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are making an appeal tonight, saints and friends. Amen. Amen. Let's get stirred up. Let's get prayed up. Let's go to Sunday school. In Jesus, let's encourage our loved ones, our family, and our friends. Amen. Because it's the fire star. It's the kindling. Amen. To the word of God that's going to come next. We're going to bow in a word of prayer in Jesus' name that God would have his way. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for being an ever-present help in the time of trouble. We pray, oh God, that by some way something was said to encourage somebody. Amen. To seek you first, the kingdom of God, his righteousness. And then add all the things that they need unto them. Thank you, Father, for this privilege tonight. Amen. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Look goodness of all. We pray that your blessings be upon the people of God. We pray that you open doors no man can close. For you should, the Bible says we shall decree a thing that shall be established on us. We're decreeing blessings. Amen. Amen. And healing tonight in Jesus' name. And we say amen and amen. Amen. Back into the hand. Amen. To the most noble Ella Russell. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus. Thank you, Elder Thorn, for that wonderful workshop that you blessed us with this evening. And amen. I know a lot of people, you know, were blessed, you know, by that workshop. Hey, you know, Lord letting Lord. us know, you know, Sunday school, the unbreakable Hallelujah. foundation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you gave Hallelujah. us a couple of points. He said a, a strong Sunday school department makes a strong church. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. amen. And that's why, amen. you know, you pointed out in your workshop that, you know, uh, the families have to come, hallelujah, Jesus, because not only does it make a strong church, hallelujah, but it makes strong families because, you know, the Sunday school department is not just talking to the building, it's talking to the people that come, you know, to Sunday school. And you also pointed out we must have a solid foundation in the word of God, hallelujah, Jesus. Our foundation, hallelujah, must be strong in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You also said we must be hearers and doers of the word in order to have a solid foundation, hallelujah, Jesus. So we have to get to know the word, hallelujah, we got to hear the word, and we got to do the word in order for us to have a strong foundation. And you just said as you ended, you know, your session, Sunday school is the fire starter, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, yep, it's the fire starter, and then when you're coming at the end of the week, hallelujah, if you're getting low on that fire, hallelujah, Jesus, oh, it'll give you some more wood, some more oil, hallelujah, to keep the fire burning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You also said Sunday school teachers need to, need to study, be, be prayed up and prepared. And I'm going to add on to that. I also want to say that the Sunday school attendees, hallelujah, need to study, need to pray, and they need to be prepared, hallelujah, Jesus. Because Sunday school, hallelujah, is much more fun when everybody has read, hallelujah, the Sunday school lesson, when everyone is prayed up and when everybody is prepared, hallelujah, because, you know, people are bringing, hallelujah, pointing out different things, hallelujah, that the Lord has, has opened up their insight on in the text that is being you know, study. Hallelujah, Jesus. We want it to be interactive. Hallelujah. We just don't want the teacher just, as you pointed out, just giving a lecture, but we want people, hallelujah, to be contributing to the Sunday school, contributing during the Sunday school session. Also, you said Sunday school can lead to salvation and make us a better people, both spiritually and naturally. And I agree with you 100%. Someone can be saved in Sunday school. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we say that, yes, someone can be saved in Sunday school. We heard the testimonies right. of people getting saved, hallelujah, in Sunday school. People wanting, hallelujah, to get baptized, hallelujah, because of the Sunday school session, being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the mission of their sins. Hallelujah, Jesus. And that's what they learn about salvation, right in Sunday school. So when a man of God, hallelujah, oh, when the pastor, hallelujah, when he's done preaching, hallelujah, the word, hallelujah, the seed was planted, Hallelujah, Sunday school. Then when a man of God gets up, he's watering that seed. And at the end of the service, God is bringing the increase. Oh, to God be the glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. And just as you said, hallelujah, the last point. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word. And the word was 
God and the word was with God. Hallelujah. And the word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we in Sunday school. I got to make sure I say it right. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the songwriter said it this way. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And that's why we have to make sure that our foundation is built on Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. On Christ, the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Oh, we thank you, Elder Thorne, for uh, this powerful workshop. Hallelujah. Reminding us, hallelujah, Sunday school, the unbreakable foundation. And for those of you that were blessed by this workshop, please hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed to the Sunday school, to the International Sunday School Association YouTube channel, please subscribe tonight. That way you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. And as you saw at the beginning of the screen, I'm going to show it again, you know, before we close, you saw the flyer. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's showing us, you know, the facilitators, you know, for the month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. So before uh, I close, I'm going to put up that flyer one more time and share the vision with you. And then we're going to close in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. You see it right here. Sunday school and the family. Praise the, the Lord. Parents, hallelujah. One Lord, one people pursuing the vision, preparing God's people through the word, hallelujah, Jesus. And that's what Elder Thorne talked about. Hallelujah, preparing God's people through the word through Sunday school. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We have been blessed. And we thank and praise God for each and every one of you tonight. You Amen. be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you.